We have a crime alert out of Southwest Memphis. Memphis police investigating a shooting that happened just after three this afternoon. Officers say when they arrived, they found a man suffering from a gunshot wound along Jensen Road. He is currently in critical condition at Regional 1. If you have any information about the shooting, call Crime Stoppers. And the search continues for a 15 year old reported missing after his grandmother was killed. Her boyfriend, Herman Hollins, is now behind bars. WREG's Quimitra Wilborn spoke to a woman who knows the couple. She talks to me every day about that baby. Some of it ain't about her, about the baby. People living on Glenbrook Road in Westwood are still coming to terms with the tragic death of their neighbor, Anaria Terman. She was a nice neighbor, one of the nicer neighbors that you can have. Memphis police say Terman's body was found in a wooded area at Silas and Ayers last Thursday. An autopsy revealed she was shot in the back of the head. According to court documents, family members told police Terman lived at this house with her boyfriend, 41-year-old Herman Hollins Brown. It was also discovered she had full custody of her 15-year-old grandson, Cyquavius Hoyt. This woman didn't want to be identified, but says she spoke to Brown nearly every day and claims he frequently complained about the 15-year-old. I don't know why, but he could not stand. He talked to me every day about that grandbaby, not emptying the garbage, not making his bed, not cleaning his room and all that. He talked to me all the time, every day about that. When police went to the home, they discovered blood smears on the wall. Her grandson, who also lived in the house, was nowhere to be found. Police say the 15-year-old was last seen the day before his grandmother's body was found. While awaiting for a search warrant, police say Brown drove by in Terman's car. Reports say officers stopped the vehicle and noticed blood streaks coming from the trunk. Brown was immediately placed in custody. Court documents say he then told his family members who were nearby, I'm going to be gone for a while. This woman says Terman would often tell her that things seemed off in their relationship. That lady said him some years old. And, and she, she was all, she was talking to me, the harm of God. I don't know where her I'm at, but he won't say nothing to me. Inside the home was a gruesome, bloody scene. MPD says officers found a metal fragment from a bullet projectile next to a pool of blood in the bedroom. Terman has since been charged with first degree murder and abuse of a corpse. Reporting in Westwood, Juan Wilborn, WREG News Channel 3. Brown is currently being held without bond. If you've seen Hoyt, please, uh, police are urging that you contact MPD or the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation.